Fears for the safety of an Iranian athlete who took part in a climbing competition without a hijab. Now, an Iranian athlete who competed in a climbing event in South Korea without her hijab says it dropped off by mistake. Some saw the move as a gesture of solidarity with the recent protests against the compulsory hijab laws in the country. A post on Elnaz Rekabi's Instagram account says it was unintentional and that she's now on her way back to Iran with the rest of the team. The BBC Persian's Rana Rahimpo has more. This Iranian climber has become a symbol for the protest movement for not wearing the mandatory headscarf. Elnaz Rakebi was representing her country in South Korea when she made what appears to be a very public show of support for women back home who are fighting against the compulsory hijab. To the alarm of her family and friends, Elnaz Rakebi then vanished from her hotel. There are reports her phone was confiscated. This post then appeared on her Instagram. I, Elnaz Rakebi, it says, apologize for getting everybody worried. Due to bad timing and the unanticipated call for me to climb the wall, my head covering inadvertently came off. BBC Persian understands she was sent home early. With one theory that the authorities wanted to avoid protesters gathering at Tehran airport to welcome her. In 2020, Iranian chess umpire Shohre Bayat also refused to cover her hair at an international competition. I was asked exactly uh, to write an apology letter on my Instagram and to apologize publicly and I was given a list of things to do. She later sought asylum in the UK. The biggest anti-government protests in more than 40 years started after the death of a young Kurdish woman in morality police custody for allegedly not wearing her headscarf properly. Human rights groups say at least 200 people have been killed and thousands detained. Women continue to protest, whatever the risks. Rana Rahimpur, BBC News.